let's experience Shibuya Crest Rock shopping here today on this video. So let's head there! to the Pokemon Center store and where all the cool anime is, so I really wanted to go shop there. It was inside a huge building, so let's check it out. Let's go check it out. So as you go in, you can see that there's a design lab. I think this is where you design t-shirts and they help you make it, but it was so cute. I have no idea what they look like, but it was so cool that it was interactive. So I go in, I didn't think it would be this crowded, but a lot of people were here today. So I'm thinking this place is super, super popular. <laughs> it's your knee, Sando. Pokemon Center. As you go in, there's a lot of merch and there was Luigi's Haunted Mansion, which was really cool to see. And then there was Link just standing before me. They had very special Animal Crossing merch and I was really excited because I'm actually really addicted to playing Animal Crossing so I'm a huge fan and they had all these cute little plates and I really loved this statue of the little characters. I was really happy I had to take a selfie. My arms! There was a lot of cool items that were in the game, so it was really cool to see all of those little keychains and everything like that. It was just very great quality, and they were so cute! And the little backpack from the game. And here's more from the game. I think these are really great for collectibles or little gifts. But yes, I can tell a lot of fans would love this stuff. Splatoon! These cute little eateries. There was a lot of iconic characters to take a picture with, so I had to take a picture with Mario, of course. And around Mario, there was a lot of cool stuff next to him, and there was all these cool Nintendo items, and then Yoshi's egg, and cute plays, just little cute knickknacks that you can give. Oh, and by the way, this was my cute little outfit that I wore. There was some really interesting stuff that I saw, little cute bags, and then some cute merch that's from the games. And a really cool bag that's from Zelda, but I really liked a lot of these very iconic items. There were some cool stickers, and then there was this really interesting carpet looking thing. I'm not sure where you would you use that, maybe it's a mouse pad, but I thought it felt really nice. 
So going over at the Animal Crossing section, there was like realistic looking fruits and then they put plates around. It just looked really cool. Just some very themed items from the video game. If you're a fan of Animal Crossing, I think you should try checking this out if you're ever in Tokyo Shibuya. Oh, and I think that's a scale. <laughs> and then there was these like fake bananas, which was cool. <laughs> I love Luigi's Haunted Mansion, but I wish there was more merch of it. And this is where the Pikmin merch is at. And this was so cute to look at, the little characters. And there was a lot of cute little interesting creative merch that was there. A lot of cool little knickknacks. I just realized Pikmin is a really old game now. And that's kind of crazy to know about. And here was some more Zelda merch. They were just everywhere. There was more cute little Pikmin stuff. And then there was these really cute resin hairbands. I really love these little pillows. <laughs> I thought this was really cute because this was makeup based on peach and I think a lot of girls would love to buy this. I thought this was so cute. This is like a Mario and Peach wedding plushie. I thought that was so cute. And this section was where they had all the games from the Nintendo series, from Mario Party to I think Pikmin to all other Nintendo. There was so much plushies here from all the characters in the Mario Party series. It was just Luigi's and then Peach's and then Mushroom's. It was just so cool to look at. And I thought all of them were really cute. And they all have um, different kinds from the different games. <laughs> I thought this was a really unique item from the game, so this was really cool to look at. In this section, I mostly saw little tote bags and then some little plushies. And I really like this mystery box merch. And then there's me just like looking in the mirror. <laughs> section was like the school supply section or something but it was really cool a lot of pens So around the Nintendo store were other anime shops. So I got to look around and got to see all the cool stuff. And I happened to stop by some other stores. And this one was a cool store that I didn't really have time to check out. But there was Luffy from One Piece. <laughs> This was a really cool statue of Ryu from Street Fighters. I had to take a selfie. Here were all the cool Capcom items and figurines. I saw a lot of cool ones and there was Chun-Li. I love looking around and getting to see cool merch, but I'm not really the type to splurge and spend money like that. And plus, I don't like to keep a lot of things in my house. But I personally enjoy just love shopping around. I don't know about you, but shopping around is entertaining for me and it really kind of heals my soul. <laughs> Oh, 
So I headed downstairs and there were so many more shops and this was a really cool interesting one with a huge statue that really caught my eye. When I went inside there was a lot of nostalgic items from cartoons I used to watch like Spongebob and there was like Minions merch but I really liked seeing this because I loved the designs of the figurines. But this store had a lot of poppy looking items. As I go down more, there's more shops, and I look down, and there was a really interesting shop that I really wanted to go inside. There was a lot of vintage items here, and a lot of vintage cartoons. I really love horror, so I'm really interested to see more horror items. These were a few that I found. All the items here were super grungy looking, just very, very edgy, and I loved it. There's some crazy looking designs on some of these figurines, but I just was so interested. I just thought it was so cool to look at. I always loved the Japanese dolls, but I never got one for myself. But I got to saw some, so that was really cool. <laughs> this store caught my eye because there was a lot of interesting characters outside of the store, but I went inside and there was a lot of really cool figurines. <laughs> Some really cool hip hop -y clothes were around. This was interesting. It was like some Disney Gundam. I really loved this vintage looking item because I love vintage horror. And there were some more figurines on display. So I kept seeing a lot of cool figurines. In the next clip, there's a really cool store for Lolita dresses and it was so cute. Before I end this video, I like to make more videos on shopping and all things nerdy and I love to be positive on my videos and I don't want you to miss out because I love having you guys on these adventures. So I'm really super excited for my next upcoming uploads and I hope to see you guys there. So I'll see you guys in the next ones!